Hello everyone. Today we're gonna to be making some uh, uh, lamb tacos. We're gonna need some uh, uh, lamb shanks, olive oil, salt, pepper, ginger, cinnamon, cumin. You can use cinnamon sticks as well. Some cloves, cardamom. We're gonna need jalapenos, avocado, onion, onions, cilantro, tomatoes, brown sugar, tortillas, shredded cheese. For sauce, we're gonna use some plain yogurt with sriracha. We can use also sour cream and sriracha. In the pressure cooker, I'm going to add some olive oil. Just a little bit. The lamb shank will also produce some uh, fat. It would have some fat which will produce more. I'm going to add some cloves, some cardamom. I previously fried up an onion, so I'm using. Um, one fried onion, small red onion. Some cinnamon. Pepper. Ginger, you can use ginger paste as well. It's the same thing. Some salt. And our shank. I don't have to sear it or anything. I'm just gonna close uh, the lid on it and let it cook but before I do that I'm going to add a little bit of uh, hot water and brown sugar All I need, I want, I want the shank to basically absorb the flavors and cook completely through, like till it becomes, till the meat starts falling off the bone. So that's exactly what I want. So I'm gonna close the pressure cooker for about half an hour. And I'll see you after that. When I'm waiting for my lamb to cook and for my onions to caramelize, I chopped up my cilantro. I diced the onions and I cut the avocado into strips and I also uh, cut the jalapeno. So I got all my sides and everything ready. So all I gotta make right now is my sauce. I'm gonna take two large spoons of plain yogurt. I'm not gonna add any salt to it for only one reason because if I add the salt to the plain yogurt, it is gonna produce more water so i might add sauce toward the end when i'm ab about to serve my tacos i'm gonna mix it with a little bit of sriracha you can make it as hot as you want or you can just use uh, mayonnaise if you don't have anything or just plain sour cream That is really spicy and good. So after cooking it for almost an hour, it's completely cooked right now. As we can see, it's ready like, to basically like fall off the bone. Just need to take it out and pull all the meat out of the bone, dice it a little bit and add some cumin to it. So I'm just gonna take it off the pan. You can still use this sauce if you want. You can reduce it and use it as a drizzling sauce. You can use that as a sauce to keep the meat warm. So whichever way, so you don't have to throw away this sauce if you don't want to. 
after pulling all the meat and dicing it, what I'm going to do is like add some cumin to it. And mix it well. Now I'm going to start making my um, tacos. Normally the tacos, the cheese goes at the end. So for my tacos, I'm going to actually reverse the process. I'm going to put actually my cheese first into the skillet. Make sure you have like a non-stick type of skillet. Then I'm going to put my tortillas right on top of it. So we make sure our cheese is all melted and we just flip our tortillas. As we see our cheese, like a grilled cheese and we start like dressing it in whatever order we want. So I'm just going to put my lamb I'm going to be generous with my tacos. I'm going to add the caramelized onions. the avocado the tomatoes jalapenos And at the end, a touch of cilantro. And a drizzle of our sauce. Bueno.